hello 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 and welcome back to my youtube channel it is i your favorite alchemist the alchemy goddess thank you guys so much for tuning in if you're new to my channel welcome if you're returning thank you for coming back you are greatly appreciated this is your daily tea and tarot for monday november 29th 2021 today's energy in the hemisphere is the moon um drink a lot of water today um connect with your feelings but don't let them control you um i have been mia for a while and um, just to give you a short little understanding, um, for those of you who know, you know that I have battled with cervical cancer. I have been battling with cervical cancer for a couple of years now. Um, some days I get in my head and I believe I create physical pain for myself because I get in my head. Um, this is a scary thing for me and it has been for a long time and I'm not ever allowed to really talk about it because then I get very emotional and then people don't understand why I'm so emotional. It's like, they're like, oh, just go to the doctor, you know, just go, you know, this and do that. And yeah, I don't believe in Western medicine. I don't believe, I believe that if I start radiation or any kind of chemo that I will die. I believe that. Um, and anything you believe is reality, it's the truth. It's your reality. Um, and I have been trying to holistically heal myself. And I get, you know, I have my times where I'm really, really good. I'm on point. I'm A1. I stick with it. All of that. And then, all of a sudden, it just stops. You know, I just stop. And I fall off again. And then I'm back at square one again. And the fact of the matter is... I get interrupted because I have children. They have things they need. And, you know, I have to be responsible. I have to make sure that I'm making money. And I can't really focus so much on my healing. And it's becoming very mentally um, exhausting for me to even try to understand what I'm going to do to save my life. So that I am here. Not for YouTube, for my kids. So if I'm late on readings, please understand I'm not trying to be a bitch. I'm not trying to steal your money. I'm not trying to make excuses. But unless you're battling with something, I'm battling with it. Not just battling with what I'm battling with, but battling with what I'm battling with without the support that I truly need and deserve. I called my kid's father and asked him, could he take them for a year so I could focus solely on that, you know? Not work. Not do readings, not just worry on my, just focus on my healing. And his response was, oh, you raised them to be some monsters and now you want to pawn them off on me. Like, did you hear anything I said? Anything I said? It's hard for me to be the mother and the father. It's hard for me to be the provider and heal. I ain't got nobody that's going to just come in and make sure everything is good in my life. Make sure the bills are paid, the kids are fed, they in school, doing what they got to do. Nobody's going to make sure that's okay while I focus solely on my healing. I will focus on both. Easier said than done. Who going to make the money? Like, I don't need to wake up and do readings for other people and get into other people's energies right now. I don't need to be doing that. I need to be in my own energy and worry about healing my body. And I can't do that. I love what I do. I love pulling cards. I love this, but I can't love it if it's becoming a job for me because I can't focus on healing myself. I just like to be transparent with y'all so y'all know that I'm not just sitting around here lollygagging and, you know, having a grand old time because if I don't make videos, I don't make money. That's the truth. If I don't make videos, I don't make money. So... That means that I am tapping into my credit cards now to feed my kids, hoping that I make some money to pay them credit card bills. So, and I'm always in the energy of giving to other people. And maybe that's my downfall because I can't keep giving away everything I got. Nobody's giving back to me what I need. I don't need the money. I need to heal. I need time. I need someone to share their time with me. But anyway, I just wanted to say that before I started this reading today to let you guys know. Yes, I didn't do any readings this weekend. Um, I will be doing some today. Won't be a lot, but I'm going to try my best. So if y'all could just be a little bit more patient with me, I'd appreciate it. But if you want a refund, I also understand. It is what it is. I ain't asking for a pity party and I ain't making excuses. It is what it is. So let's get started. Let's see what the energy is. I'm... 
I try to stay in good energy. I do. Um, I try to clear my energy, meditate, and all of that, but it's it's not easy. And I know that our thoughts create our reality. So I've been literally picturing someone helping me, someone coming into my life and just saying, I got the bills. Focus on healing. I got the bills. Focus on healing. Like, they're going to eat. They're going to be all right. They're going to have what they need. You focus on healing. Like, I'm manifesting that right now in my life. So, anyway, um, Open is having a their international toy giveaway. I believe it's... Um, I believe it is Haiti and and um, New Jersey. I'm not sure if he's still working with Tanzania or not. I have to ask him, but definitely for sure is Jersey, Newark, Plainfield, New Jersey, and Haiti. Um, we are doing an international toy giveaway for those who are um, in need. And if you would like to donate, his cash app is jjack793. It's down below. Um, you can also donate through my website. And at the bottom of the, it says become open. So you can donate there as well. Um, if you want to just donate to my channel, you're more than welcome to do that also. My cash app is down below. All right. So that's that. Let's get, um, let's get started and, um, see what energies you have what's been going on with you guys over the weekend you know it's been a long it's been a long four days you know i haven't been up here in a while so let's see what's going on spirit with energies in the hemisphere for the collective on twin flame journeys what is going on what can you share with us please provide please provide clear and precise information so that i can understand these messages and relay them to those in need Remember, you guys, take what resonates and the rest leave it. It's not going to always resonate completely with you. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't, okay? Bottom of the deck energy is patience. Well, well, well. That beautiful word, patience. <sighs> this could be you asking for patience or someone asking you for patience. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective today? Mask, admired. Tribe, cycles, and conclusion. Let's see. There goes patience again. All right. We have divine feminine, settling, fresh start, twin flame, commitment, and family. Okay. It's like you can never get the settling card in the in the in like I can't never get it where it makes so much damn sense right when you look at it. It's always like what? Divine feminine settling fresh start twin flame commitment and family. Someone is maybe it's the divine feminine settling Wanting a fresh start. Yeah, I feel like this divine feminine energy is struggling. It's struggling to find, or, or not struggling to find, but like is looking for, is wanting to be happy. Like this feminine energy, I feel like is like gonna be just kind of like settling with whatever's going on. Like, you know, like it is what it is, you know? I feel like there's a fresh start though. This is so confusing. And I. I Feminine is settling, fresh start, twin flame. Like, what the fuck? How are you settling for a fresh start with the twin flame? You feel me? Then we have commitment and family. I kind of feel like, you know, maybe it's not the feminine's energy. Maybe it's the way that the masculine views the feminine. Maybe the masculine is done settling and wants a fresh start with the feminine because that's their twin flame. 
I f it feels like somebody wants a commitment. Like, and that's why I'm saying this settling card is just like in here, like out of nowhere, just like throw the monkey wrench in the game. That's what it feels like because all of these cards, Divine Feminine, Fresh Start, Twin Flame, Commitment, Family, this is great energy. But then here comes the settling card. Like, what do you mean settling, spirit? What, what are they settling for? Like, you don't settle for a twin flame, do you? See, I'm also getting like there's this situation where this, this feminine could just be realizing that their masculine is committed to a family. That's what they settled with. And now the feminine is like, I need a fresh start. You know, I need a fresh start. Like, even though we're twin flames, I need a fresh start. Because you're going to stay where you are. You know, you're going to settle. See, but I'm also getting like someone, like this someone is tired of settling and they want a fresh start with their twin flame. They want to make a commitment. They want to have a family together. So this is like a very confusing type of vibe I'm getting here. We're going to keep these out though because... I'm getting like this feeling here and I don't usually get it. So I'm going to just keep those out there. We're going to start down here and get some clarity. Okay. Cause I need to understand why that settling card is there. It's like, it's like almost like the challenge is allowing yourself to settle with whatever the situation is. So you can have a fresh start with your twin flame, like accepting it for what it is, but it's not an acceptance energy. It's settling. Well, settling is accepting like it's, 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 in the, it's in the genre of settling. I mean, it's in the genre of acceptance. I hate this chair. Like, I can actually feel it falling down now. But, um... And it's rocking back and forth. But settling is in the genre of, of acceptance. It's like you are accepting things for what it is. Like, it is what it is. some clarity okay let's see if these clarify these energies for us the lover's card damn twin flame this is a twin flame connection for sure and i kind of get this feeling that see and now i'm like okay tribe family tribe family Someone is hiding their true feelings. They're hiding their truth. Someone is not happy. Oh, this is what you don't see coming. See, I, I, this is why I need to not be doing readings right now. Because it's taking me too long to understand these cards. Because I'm very disconnected. I'm trying to disconnect from my emotions right now. Because of everything going on in my life. But what I'm seeing here is what you don't see coming is someone... Like, someone wants a fresh start with you. They're hiding their true feelings. They're not happy. They're not sharing something with the feminine. Or the feminine not sharing something with the masculine. They're not happy. They know you're their twin flame. They want a commitment with you. I also feel like something about families here. Like, being a family. That's the lover's card. Gemini energy. That's twin flame energy. Twin flame connection. Spirit, clarify this mask energy. What are they hiding? The Three of Swords in reverse. Too many. All right. Let's just verify this mask energy. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles reverse, Three of Cups reverse, King of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. Somebody's, somebody is hiding that they're letting go. They're letting go of something, something from their past that has hurt them, a loss, a heartbreak. They're letting go. Like, see, the Three of Swords is a card of like. It being a reminder that it might be time to let go of the pain. It might be time to let go of something from the past. And I feel like someone is hiding that they're letting go of something. Something that hurt them. Some kind of loss. 
the feelings, the energy, the thoughts about it. And I feel like with the Ten of Pentacles here, it's something about an ultimate achievement. But they have to, like, become independent. Like, this person's definitely in the third party with the Three of Cups. Like, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, again, Aquarius. Like, this person's definitely in a th in the third party situation. And they're hiding their true feelings. This person wants to be single. They want to let go of whoever this is from their past, but they're not moving on that. See, the Knight of Wands is a card of action. They're not, I feel like this person's not making any stupid choices. Like, this person's not going to make any dumb decisions. They're not going to move, you know, hectically. They're going to be, they're, they're, they're not going to do that right now with the Knight of Wands here. They're not. They're not going to be reckless. They're not going to, they don't want to create any type of chaos. And I feel like if they tell you or if they reveal something to you, it could do that. Like what they're hiding behind their mask is not wanting to be in a third party situation anymore or trying to break free from something. They don't want to be in that love triangle. Like this is what I'm seeing. They want that ultimate achievement. They want that ultimate goal. And maybe they're letting go of you or maybe they're letting go of something or someone else from their past. Spirit, clarify this admired energy. What is this admired energy? The two of wands. Yeah, somebody's moving forward and planning. They're making, they're having plans. Look at that, knight of swords. Got something to say. Queen of cups. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Someone loves how caring you are, how kind you are. Ace of cups reverse and the empress and the moon card reverse. So, yeah, someone's feelings are about to be shared with you about how they feel. They admire you. They think you're very sweet, kind, gentle, sensitive. Um, they just, they want to, they want a new beginning in love with you because they see you as their empress. Like this person's planning to come towards you very quickly and share something with you, like their thoughts. Again, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer with the Queen of Cups energy. Then we have Libra and Taurus with the Empress energy. Right? This person sees you as their feminine. They see you as their divine feminine. They admire the fuck out of you. They love how sweet you are. They love how like kind and gentle. They have plans. And I don't know exactly what those plans are just yet, but they got some plans. They're going to reveal their secrets. They're going to reveal the illusions. That they're hiding, which has to do with the mask. Spirit, so clarify this energy of tribe. What is this tribe energy? Nine of Swords. Mm, someone has a lot of regrets. The Five of Pentacles, reverse. The King of Wands, the Four of Cups, reverse. And the Hangman, reverse. Bottom of the deck is the Fool. So someone is scared to take this leap of faith towards you, they're very afraid. Okay, there's a lot of fear here. And I feel like they want things to change and they want to come out and they want to tell you like this person sees a future with you. I feel like they are, they see you as someone who is very passionate, leader type energy. I feel like they, they look at you as someone they can trust and they really want y'all to be on the same page. Like this person really wants you to be on the same page, but they're not ready to take that leap of faith just yet. They're not. They're very afraid to. And I feel like it's because of like the lack of trust within this connection in the past. It makes this person feel like, you know, damn, I want you to trust me. You know, I'm like, this person's very attracted to you. First and foremost, you're probably very attracted to them. Like I said, but they just, they have to come out of this, this place. Like they have to share information with you. They got to tell you like what's going on with them. What they've been keeping from you. Their fears. They have a lot of fears. And I feel like also they have a lot of regrets with you as well. Because with the Four of Cups reverse, it's like you don't really trust this person. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like they want you to trust them. Four of Cups is the energy of, will you accept my love? No, I don't really fuck with you like that, right? But with this reverse, it's like this person's like, I want you to trust me. Like we're not on the same page. We're not seeing this from the same perspective. And they want to. They want to see it from your perspective. They want you to see it from their perspective. Let's so clarify this cycle's energy. It's the Eight of Wands reverse. The Justice card reverse. The Eight of Swords reverse. The Devil card. 
and the seven of wands bottom of the deck is the two of pentacles yeah it seems like you and this person keep going round and round in the same shit over and over again and i feel like it may have a lot to do with hidden things okay like y'all just keep repeating the same cycle and i know that there's some kind of communication that maybe has happened or maybe needs to happen Yeah, it's like somebody needs to get something off their chest with the eight of swords in reverse. Like someone needs to needs to like like see eight of swords reverse, eight of wands, reverse. See, devil card, Capricorn energy, justice card, Libra energy. Someone hasn't figured out. Someone is tired of trying to figure out, oh, how to stop this shit from being unhealthy and toxic. It's an obsessive kind of feeling, though, you know? So it's like this person is like no longer confused about whatever's been going on in their head. It's like a cycle of un of injustice. Like it's never the it's never fair. It's never fair. It's never right. And I feel like with the eight of wands. They don't really know how to come forward with this information and communicate this to you. Like, it's taking them a really long time to do this. Like, their guard is really high. But I feel like a lot of that has to do with, like, there's an obsession here. There's something very unhealthy here. Sarah, so please clarify this conclusion energy. What is this conclusion energy? Nine of Cups, Two of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords Reverse, and the Eight of Cups Reverse. So, someone has come to this conclusion. They're not ready to walk away from something, okay? I feel like they're still not really seeing things clearly. They're still very indecisive. See, that's, I mean, okay. Conclusion card being clarified by the Nine of Cups and the Two of Swords tells me that someone knows that you are their wish fulfillment, but they have not really figured out or really decided how to have this new beginning with you and how to share with you that they don't want to lose you. They know you're supportive emotionally and they don't want to lose you. And they have figured this out. Like, I know I don't want to lose them. I know they're my wish fulfillment, but how the fuck do I get this new beginning? How do I get there? How do I tell them these things? How do I get this shit off my chest? Bottom of the deck energy, we have the Six of Wands reverse, the Hermit card, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Five of Swords reverse, and the High Priestess. Virgo energy with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit card. Someone is like, you don't see this coming, but there's not going to be a lot of support for this person coming towards you. Like other people are not going to support this decision they made. And it's a very slow, steady process, but they're coming towards you. Yeah, this person has been doing a lot of meditation, a lot of soul searching. And I feel like they're worried though about it not being successful. But this person wants to celebrate with you. They could even want to marry you. Like they're getting rid of the competition. Like I feel like that's kind of what they're doing and maybe like with this, see with this high priestess in reverse, that's an energy, that first of all, that's Pisces energy, but, well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I believe. Like they're more like, they're, they're always the intuitive because they're the most emotional energies in the Zodiac. And um, with the high priestess, it's like, no more mystery like they like they figured it out but i feel like with the high priest it's also about intuition so maybe it's like they're almost like why haven't you figured this out yet like why can't you see this there is no competition here like i want to be with you i'm coming towards you slowly but i am coming towards you 
So yeah, I don't know, y'all. We're going to take this into the extended version. Um, Y'all can go ahead and pay for that through Vimeo or if you signed up for my um Patreon, which is $18 a month. You can view it after. But yeah, we're going to take this over to the um, extended version where we get the journey to divine love. What's the deal? The issues that need to be exposed. Messages from the divine feminine to the divine masculine. From the divine masculine to the divine feminine. And the karmic messages. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed today's read. If you have not signed up for the Patreon or if you don't plan on purchasing the Vimeo extended version. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thumbs up if it's resonated. Thumbs down if it has not. It's all love either way. Don't forget. Um... If you would like to purchase a private reading, my website is www.alchemygoddess.love. That's A-L-K-M-Y-G-O-D-D-E-S-S-I-O-V-E. And you can also donate through open to open through my website as well. Or you can send the cash app directly to Jack Jackson down below. Or you can send it to my PayPal, my Venmo, my Apple Pay, or my Cash App. All right, y'all. Enjoy the rest of y'all Monday. As always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace.